All right. Shalom, shalom. Uh, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praise to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutation and blessings to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth that believe wholeheartedly in the true doctrine that's being pushed throughout the four winds of the earth who are in hope of mercy and salvation. All right. <clears throat> During the time of Jacob's trouble, as well as when Yahweh Shai returns to the planet Earth. All right. Um, as you can see in the title, the title was Hope. This is all we have. All right. And, uh, you know, what you see on the TV, I mean, the, 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 the screen is, uh, you know, I just typed in hope and went to images and you know tried to get something that was you know pretty filling but I, I believe this is you know this one right here is pretty dope um, this picture of uh, you know it's just a, a light in the word hope um, right there but indeed uh, based upon scriptures uh, of course, the scriptures that I'm going to read and, uh, you know, <clears throat> prophecy, you know, testimony of Yahweh Shai. This is indeed uh, all we have as the hopeful members of the elect, all right? Our hope in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay? Because as we know, you know what I'm saying? We is we talk about it on a daily on a day daily basis. You know the wickedness of Esau, the you know what he's trying to uh, perform, the MOTB. All right. Um, the concentration camps, the guillotine, everything that this man is going to try and use to break us as hopeful members of the elect. Okay. All we have is the hope in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right? And that's a great hope, all right? That's, it's, it's, it's not like a, you know, a iffy hope. It's a, a, you know, it's a great for sure hope, all right? <clears throat> because when you look up this word hope, all right, I'm done with that. Let's go here to the Edamon online. And let's just look it up just regularly in the Edom of the word. Okay? Hope, okay, means Old English hoping have the theological virtue of hope, hope for salvation, mercy, okay, trust in God's word. Also to have trust have confidence assume confidently or trust that something is or will be so and that's exactly our hope all right and our hope is found in the scriptures okay um doesn't say much there that's pretty much it in the uh The Edomon, but when you go here, I'm looking at it now. It says, has this as Abraham agents hope believed. Wait, what is it? I think that's written in old English. Abraham again, so that's what it is. Abraham again, uh, hope believed that he should be made father of many folks all right so as you see the word hope oh here we go here expectation expectation of something desired okay 
So truly, when we say we are the hopeful members of the elect, we're expecting to be the members of the elect. We're desiring to be the members of the elect. Okay? We trust and have confidence and are wishful to be the members of the elect. All right? So you can understand. Now, let's pull up these scriptures I have. Okay, the first one we're going to go to is the book of Joel, the third chapter. All right? Excuse me. <clears throat> Joel chapter 3, verse 16. Okay? It says, The Lord also shall roar out of Zion. And we know that when you see the word Lord in all caps, that's the Most High's name, Yahweh. All right? It says, The Lord also shall ro roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem and the heavens and the earth shall shake but the Lord excuse me it says but the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel now let's look up this word hope in the Hebrew okay see what it says The hope. Okay. Ma kasa. All right. Ma kasa. That's the word hope there. Ma kasa. Ma kasa. All right. Which means. And this one here is kasa. Okay. The uh, the root word. So machasa means refuge, shelter, hope, and trust. All right? So this hope in the scriptures means refuge, shelter, all right? From rain or storm, from danger, all right? Um, of falsehood, okay? Now, when we go back and we read it, it makes all the sense in the world why it says the Lord will be the hope of his people because the Lord is going to come, uh, he going to come wrecking shop, all right? He going to roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem and the heavens and the earth shall shake, but the Lord will be the hope or refuge of his people and the strength of the children of Israel, Okay. Now, let's go to another scripture, Zechariah 9. Let's go there. And we're going to read the uh, 12th verse. Excuse me been a long day it's over here yawning but uh zechariah 9 and 12 it says turn you to the stronghold all right ye prisoners of hope even today do i declare that i will render double unto thee all right now let's look at that word hope in this one let's see if it's the same word or a different one all right it's a different word okay This word in the Hebrew, that's the fa kwa wa. Fa kwa wa. Fa kwa wa. All right? Fa kwa wa. Which means hope, expectation, line, the thing that I long for. All right? Kwa wa. All right, that's the root word. Um, ground of hope, 
things hoped for outcome. We already uh, saw hope, expectation. Okay, so we're that we're those prisoners of expectation that the Lord is going to deliver us, that the Lord is going to have mercy on us. All right, that's another scripture uh, dealing with the word hope. Okay, now let's go to um. Let's go to Psalms 31. Okay. And this is just, this is strictly just a, and all you got to do, because what I did, I forget, uh, I believe I was listening to Apostle Ram Lab and he said something on the lines of hope. If I'm not mistaken, it was uh, one of the apostles, I'm thinking it was Apostle Ram Lab. Uh, and they said something because I was, you know, spirit. I'm trying to, you know, get a idea for for this show. And hope came up. Okay, so what I did, I just went to Blue Letter and I typed in hope. And let me do it now so you can see. Okay, and you can, you know, uh, occurs 130 times in 121 verses in the King James Version Bible, all right? So, plenty of scriptures that deal with hope, but they don't all mean the same thing, okay? Just like we read the first scripture in uh, Joel, the third chapter, okay? That hope is talking about uh, refuge, okay? So, let's go back to Psalms 31, Okay? And we're going to go to the 24th verse. <clears throat> Last scripture. It says, be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart. All ye that hope in the Lord. Okay. Okay. The only ones hoping for the Lord are the elect. Trust and believe that. Now this is the Hebrew word. Yachal. Okay. Yahal, Yahal, okay, which means to wait, hope, expect, to wait, to wait, await, tarry, to wait for, hope for, to wait, tarry, wait for, hope for, okay, and that's in essence what we are doing until our Lord and Savior returns. All right, we're waiting, okay? We're patiently waiting on the Lord. We're waiting uh, for the Lord to endow us with power. This is the hope of the hopeful elect, okay? We're waiting for it, okay? <clears throat> the expect, I'm gonna say like the expected elect or the desire to be the elect, all right, is uh, hoping or waiting on salvation from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay? The word hope, okay, down here in the uh, uh, Jacinius Hebrew child D lexicon, it says to remain, to delay, um, to cause to hope for something, all right, in these scriptures, the promise that's written in these scriptures, the Holy Bible, is the cause for us to wait for something, okay, to hope for something, that promise, all right, and that promise is coming, okay, we just gotta wait or hope or expect for it to happen when things go down because that's what's going to get us through. The expectation of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai's mercy and salvation. Okay? Um, from this chapter, we're going to move over to... Let's go to the 33rd chapter. We're going 
read a few verses, all right? These last uh, five verses. It says, Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we hope in thee. Now let's look up this first word here in the 18th verse. Again, I'm not going to even... You know, yachal, or yachal, okay? We read the definition of that. To wait, hope, expect, all right? To await something. Terry, all right? When you go back, what was the scripture saying? Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy because that's what we hoping for we hoping that the heavenly father all right has mercy upon us when all hell breaks loose this is why we do uh, uh what we do out of the sincereness of our hearts all right we're at the mercy of yahweh by shim okay and we hope or we expect him to have mercy on us man Okay, it says to deliver their soul from from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waiteth for the Lord. Let's see what this word waiteth means. Let's see. Yeah, it's not the same word. Uh, haka. All right, which means to wait, await, uh, tarry. You know. <clears throat> get the point on that one okay uh, verse 33 it says for our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name and a lot of a lot of our people don't trust in the, in the holy name of Yahweh why Yahweh shy all right they trust in 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 their own thing okay and I shouldn't have to name any names at this point. Okay? Verse 22. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we hope in thee. Okay? Now let's look up the word hope in this scripture. Same word. Yachal. Okay? To wait, to have expectation. According to, according as we expect in thee, all right? So us hopeful members of the elect are expecting for the Lord to show us mercy, okay? Moving on, you know? Um, got quite a, let me, I'm not, I'm not going to get them all. We're going to go to Psalms 119 and the 116, um, not 16, but 116. Psalms 119 and 116. All right, it says, Uphold me according unto thy word that I may live and let me not be ashamed of my hope now let's look up ashamed and hope in this scripture okay the word ashamed bosh will, will, will be the way you pronounce there or bawash alright the ba the wa and the sha okay but i believe the uh i know the 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 the, the wa and the sha are connected all right as well as that's what i believe that dot is there for so it's connected to 
the ba is connected to the wa and the wa is connected to the sha so there you will have bash okay which means to put to shame be ashamed be disconcerted be disappointed all right we're not going to be ashamed or disappointed because the lord is going to come do come through as he said he would okay to feel shame uh we read those to put to shame to act shamefully to be ashamed to be ashamed before one another okay now going back okay it says uphold me according unto thy word that i may live and let me not be ashamed of my hope so let me not be disappointed in my expectation because this word here hope is more than likely okay it's a different word shabar okay shabar which means hope expectation again okay expectation so going back now we get to pick up uh another song and this is psalms 25 in verse 2 it says oh my power i trust in thee let me not be ashamed let not mine enemies triumph over me now the reason i pulled this is because of the word ashamed again all right because we expecting for the lord to come through we expecting for the lord to show mercy we're expecting for yahweh Shah to return all right so uh in this verse okay um it says let me not be ashamed let me not be disappointed okay let's look this up real quick there we go ashamed again that same word bosh okay which means to be disappointed, disappointed, disconcerted, to be ashamed, to delay. And the Lord ain't going to delay. The Lord going to come right when he need to. The Lord going to deliver the elect right when he needs to. Okay? <clears throat> so let's go back. Again, Psalms 25 and 2. <clears throat> oh, my power. I trust in thee. Okay? I hope in thee. Okay? Remember, trust, that's another word for hope. It says, let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. And this is what we should be praying for in these times. All right? Because... Uh, guaranteed this man is getting ready to uh, try and triumph over us as the true nation of Israel by all these gadgets and gadgets and technology that he has he's getting ready to come with it okay but we have the words of Yahweh and our forefathers told us okay and this is just one scripture one example let me not be disappointed okay or ashamed let not my enemies triumph over me okay don't allow me to be uh, uh given into this devil's hand so to speak so he can triumph over us okay don't let me be disappointed and be given into the hand of the devil Now, let's get another one. I got like three more. And then that'll be it, four more. 
I'm sorry. Isaiah 45. All right, it says, Isaiah 45 and 17. This is an oldie but a goodie. Isaiah 45 and 17. The word ashamed again. Okay? But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Okay? Now, going down. What we at? Okay, here we go. Ashamed. Again, the Hebrew word bosh, to be uh, disappointed. All right? So, by us hoping in the Lord, with an everlasting salvation, saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation, you shall not be ashamed nor confounded. I Meaning we're not going to be disappointed by that. We're not going to be uh, disconcerted because this will happen. All right? You shall not be disappointed because you're going to be saved with an everlasting salvation. Okay? Okay? <clears throat> Isaiah 45, 17, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed slash disappointed slash disconcerted, okay? Nor confounded world without end, okay? So the hope that we have is a for sure hope. Okay, the Lord is, is, is reassuring us throughout these different scriptures. And like I said, I only writ down or wrote down a few. Now, here in the book of Romans, the fifth chapter. Okay. This is the main reason for our hope. Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Uh, Romans 5 and 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with the Most High through our Lord Yahawashai Hamashiach, <clears throat> excuse me, with our Lord Yahawashai Hamashiach, okay, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of the Most High, okay, we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God, okay, let's see what. Hebrew word is here for hope. <clears throat> it's a new word. Let's see what it is. It's a Greek word. Probably meaning the same thing. Okay? Uh, the Greek word is elipis. <clears throat> which means... Hope, faith, again, expectation of evil, fear, expectation of good. And this is the, the case here. We ain't expecting uh, from evil for the Most High. The evil that's coming from the Most High is for two-thirds in uh, Esau, Edom. All right? We're expecting the good of the Most High. We're expecting to be delivered out of situations by the Most High. Okay? It says, in the Christian sense, joyful joyful, and confident expectation of eternal salvation. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> it says, on hope, in hope, having hope, the author of hope or who or he who is its foundation, the thing hoped for. All right. And the main thing we hoping for is Yahweh Shai's return and him bestowing mercy upon the elect. All right? <clears throat> so, oh, I haven't finished that in Romans. That was the verse, what verse was that? Verse 2, okay? Verse 3, it says, And not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation work of patience, and patience, experience, and experience, hope. All right? Let's look that up right quick. 
the word hope, the same word from the last word, all right, means the same thing. Okay. Expectation of good, hope. <clears throat> you get the picture on that. Okay, let's go back. Fifth verse. It says, and hope maketh not ashamed. All right. Let's see if this, uh, this word ashamed is the same word that we've been looking up. And hope maketh not ashamed. <clears throat> Which the Greek word. Let's let, let's let E pronounce it. Oh, sloppy. I'll click that. Hope. Wait a minute. I knew something went wrong. Uh, here we go here. Strong's G, 2617. Katais Huno. Katais Huno. Katais Huno. All right. And again, <clears throat> it means ashamed, confound dishonor or shame all right and that's what we won't have uh in our hope in yahweh shy all right hey shalom on, bro that's what we won't have now when you go let me go back and read that scripture again verse five it says and hope maketh not ashamed because the love of the most high is shed abroad in our hearts by the holy spirit which is given unto us so the hope we have make us make it not ashamed. All right. <clears throat> so this word hope, again, it's a different word, but it means the the uh, same thing. The expectation, in this case, of good, hope. All right, joyful and confident expectation of ex of eternal salvation. All right. So that's why it's. It is it, we, we won't be ashamed, all right. The hope that we have make it not ashamed. We ain't gonna be uh uh. Let's look up this word ashamed here. Okay, again, Salakia. Dishonored or disgraced, to put to shame, make a shame, all right. Because why? Yahweh is coming back, and he's coming back to deliver his elect, and we believe the message, the record. That was left of the Son of the Most High. All right? This is the hope that's in us. All right? The expectation that's in us. All right? So from there, we're going to go. All right? And I got like one, two. Yeah, three, three more spots. Let's go to Romans, the eighth chapter. All right? Romans 8 and 20. Okay. It says, For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who have subjected the same in, you guessed it, hope, baby. <laughs> so lucky. And let's look up this word, hope. Okay. It's going to mean the same thing expectation of something good all right <clears throat> joyful and confident expectation of eternal salvation all right so we expecting for our lord and savior to come and deliver us and uh show mercy upon us okay romans 8 24 for we are saved by hope but hope that is seen is not hope for what a man seeth why doth he yet hope for okay now let's go here look at these hopes you got hope in this scripture one two three 
four times and it's the same word expectation of something good okay uh where is it at where'd it go the other one so like it oh here we go Alipis, Elpis, same word, okay, same word, so you got this hope, the expectation of something good, the expectation of something good, again, the expectation of something good, G1680, now this last hope is G1679 and it's the same word but <clears throat> it has the four with it so that's why it's not G1680 alright so the hope that we have is a hope to expect we're expecting something uh, uh, good which is salvation which is mercy all right now the last scripture i want to read or well, the second to last scripture okay we're gonna go back to the book of psalms and this is a psalm of our king david all right and we're gonna read the whole chapter okay um <clears throat> it says preserve me O power for in thee do I put my trust. O my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, Thou art my Lord, my goodness extendeth not to thee. But to the saints that are in the earth and to the excellent, in whom is all my delight. Their sorrows shall be multiplied that hasten after another God. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer nor take up their names into my lips. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my lot. The lines are falling unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who have given me counsel. My reigns also instruct me in the right seat in the, Salaka, in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. Okay. Our flesh also shall rest in hope. Okay. Let's look up this word hope here. And then we'll finish the chapter out and go to the last uh, verse. Okay. My flesh also shall rest in hope. Now this hope is the Hebrew word batak. Alright, batak. That at the end. Batak. Alright. Which means security, safety, securely. Alright. A place of refuge. Abstract. Alright. You look up this word abstract, right? Let's look this word up right quick. Do 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 do. Breathe and stop. <laughs> Slock you. Um. Okay, abstract. Existing in thought or as an idea, but not having a physical or concrete existence. Okay? So our flesh is resting in the hope that Yahweh Shimi Shai is going to get us through this thing. Okay? We can't see it. Okay? It's non it, it doesn't physically exist yet. All right? But that's our hope. Okay? Go back um, again, securely, assurance, boldly is another word, care, confidence, secure, uh, carelessly, careless, safety, safely, 
both the fact security and the feeling trust often okay i mean you get the, you get the point you know lord willing okay so our hope is in yahweh by shim yahweh shai man our security our expectation okay It says confidently with a confident mind. All right? Confidence. Confidence in what? How about Shimmy I was shy, man? Point blank. So reading again from verse 9. Therefore my heart is glad and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life, and thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Okay? Now the last scripture I'm going to get is the book of Romans 15 and verse 4. Okay? It says, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have, you guessed it, hope. Okay? That we might have hope through, with patience and comfort of the scriptures is where our hope comes from, man. Okay? So when you go down here and you look up the word hope again, the expectation of something good. Okay? Joyful and confident expectation of eternal salvation. And this is all found in the Holy Scriptures. Okay? On hope, in hope, having hope. Okay? It says, uh, to anticipate, usually with pleasure, expectation. Okay? Okay? There's that word abstract again, okay? Uh, concretely or confidence, faith, hope, okay? So, you know, this was just a quick little lesson I put together through the Spirit. Um, Lord will, it was edifying to the hopeful elect out there because at the end of the day, you know, all we have is the hope in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai uh, to show us mercy in these trying times that are upon us. So Lord will, like I said, uh, edification came out of this through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and we on to the next. Shalom.